My name is Nathan Meehan. I'm a petroleum engineer and I'm honored to be the 2016 president of the Society of Petroleum Engineers. And I'm thrilled to be here in Indonesia. My background is as a petroleum engineer. I've worked for 40 years. Uh, I have six children and seven grandsons. And they live all around the world. That is kind of an interesting story, to me at least. I was a physics major in Georgia, at Georgia Tech. And in the entire state of Georgia, there is not one oil well, not one gas well. So at Georgia Tech, there are no petroleum engineers. But when I started college, I filled up, on the way up in my little Volkswagen, I drove up and I filled up my tank and I paid 19 cents a gallon. Now that's not much, it was a price war even at the time. And by the time I graduated, it was 75 or 80 cents a gallon. So I knew something was happening in the oil and gas business. Because when I started in 1972 in college, oil was $10 a barrel. And of course, we had the AOPEC oil embargo. Not the, oil. the OPEC oil embargo came later, but the AOPEC. Marvel was the first one. And I did well as a physics major, and I got into law school and medical school and graduate school in a couple of different areas. But I got an interview with one of the major service companies that actually looked for me. And it's kind of a long story of why they picked me uh, to interview with them. It had to do with some of the summer work that I had done, uh, which I only it was labor. I was peripherally involved in the oil business. And, uh, in fact, they told me it was near enough to go oil well, but they said, don't go anywhere near that. So I was just digging pits with the bulldozer. But it was enough of an oil industry exposure that this person uh, invited me for a job interview. And after three days on the interview, I knew that I was interested in that business but not that I was necessarily going to work for that company. Uh, so I talked to them about alternative jobs, and they said, you should check out Petroleum Engineering. And I went back, and no one was interviewing for Petroleum Engineers, but an Amoco recruiter was interviewing for a geophysicist. And I went and told them, I wanted to be a Petroleum Engineer. And he said, OK, now's a good time to be a Petroleum Engineer. So I learned more about it. I, went to Denver for an interview, I met people with Amoco, and they offered me a summer job after I graduated from Georgia Tech, and they said, look, for us to hire you as a petroleum engineer, you have to have a degree in engineering, so you should get a master's degree. And my father had gone to the University of Oklahoma, and he, and he, when I told him that, he said, well, you should go to Oklahoma, there's a, we have petroleum engineering there. So I got a master's degree from the University of Oklahoma and uh, went on to work in the full time, starting 